if you have any doubts or if you want to discuss something please use the comment section below now in this video we'll be talking about types of semiconductor materials we'll discuss about elemental and compound semiconductors then we will talk about some semiconductor materials and its uses so we'll be discussing about different types of semiconductors and this is one way of classifying semiconductor materials we have elemental semiconductors and compound semiconductors elemental semiconductors are made of just one element that's why they are called elemental semiconductor and in the case of compound semiconductor we have two or more elements we have two or more elements so in order to find these materials first let's take a look at the periodic table so two of the most common semiconductor materials are silicon and germanium so they are the elemental semiconductors now they belong to say now if you are following the old convention that they belong to group 4 okay so fourth group elements silicon and germanium are the elemental semiconductors okay and we can have compounds also right we have discussed that we have elemental semiconductors as well as compound semiconductor first we will see what are the elements that form semiconductor compounds so these are the common elements that form compounds or semiconductor compounds so we have boron aluminum gallium indium and carbon silicon germanium nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony etc so we have here so these are the common elements and let's see the compounds so elements within fourth group so elements within fourth group form some of the compound semiconductors that is silicon carbide and silicon germanium so th those are formed within the fourth group now third and fifth group elements form some of the compounds like we have aluminum phosphide aluminum arsenide gallium arsenide gallium nitride gallium phosphide and so on so we can see it here we have aluminum phosphide we have gallium phosphide gallium nitride so they also form some of the semiconductor compounds and we have and we also have compounds formed by these two groups here okay. we have compounds like zinc sulfide cadmium sulfide zinc selenide etc and we also have three element semiconductors like aluminum gallium arsenide gallium arsenide phosphide etc and we also have four element semiconductors so so these materials offers us a wide range of optical and electrical properties so we have a lot to choose according to our application now we will see some of the applications and this is one of the main reason we prefer semiconductor materials in electronic circuits for example if we want an led to emit red we can use a particular material if we want it to emit blue we can use some other material and we will see about how these choices are made when we talk about leds okay so now we'll take a look at some of its applications we have discussed about some of the semiconductor materials which are most common and we have seen that silicon and germanium are elemental semiconductors and we have discussed about some compound semiconductors now we will take a look at important applications of these we have silicon or germanium they are used in making rectifiers transistors radiation detectors etc so these days silicon is the most preferable material compared to germanium due to some reasons we will discuss about that if you see what goes into the making of leds we have compounds like gallium nitride gallium phosphide gallium arsenide gallium arsenide etc and tv screens those fluorescent screens are made using zinc sulfide and we have light detectors similarly we have gun diode which is a microwave device which is a microwave device that means semiconductor devices are capable of being operated at extremely high frequencies so we have gallium arsenide and indium phosphate which goes which goes into the making of gun diode and we have semiconductor lasers 
so they also use gallium arsenide aluminum gallium arsenide etc so three element compounds give a little bit more flexibility adjust the ratio in which these elements form these compounds and fine tune the properties of the semiconductor according to your requirement so you don't need to buy hard this but it's good to know that uh, silicon elemental semiconductors goes into making your rectifiers and we have compounds like gallium nitride gallium phosphate gallium gallium arsenide goes into making your leds